fellas? Hello, Sam. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> well, hello, fellow YouTubers again. We're just sitting here making a little noise. Uh, this is a guitar I just finished building, and uh, this is Sam with his current Martin, what is it, a D? It's an HD-28. HD-28. And this is the guitar that he likes, that he owns already, that he'd like to make one of similar to it. I hope so. For himself. And so we've been uh, going through the first stages of planning, and we don't want to go talk about that a little bit now, because you can't really even get started until you plan what you're doing. So here's where we are. Sam brought his guitar over, and along with the guitar, I'll lay this down for a minute, and I'll show you what he has done. Pardon me stepping off from the camera a minute, but uh, this is about the simplest way you can have a plan that you can ever come across. He laid his guitar down on a flat surface, took a pencil and traced around it, and that is the shape of the guitar he wants to build. Now, that takes care of the size of the guitar itself. Next you get into the sides and the depth and the, this is this is a template I already had for a dreadnought guitar and Sam checked his and this template came out the same as you can see this is an old one there's already been a, guilt, a guitar that was built from it before but uh, now we have from this template and this actual drawing of the guitar we have a set of plans that's about as simple as you can get Another way to get those plans is to call, or you can go on uh, Stuart McDonald and uh, look at their plans or go on, any, on the internet and uh, find other plans for whatever style of guitar you like. And it may give you the dimensions, but if you have a guitar already that you'd like to make about the same, only better, then uh, this is the way to do it. So, Bob, I've got a question for you. So, the second uh, template that you showed, that is actually the thickness of the sides. Is that what that template represents? This was a template that was made by a friend of mine before when we built his guitar. And what he did when he laid it down, he took this and wrapped this piece around the side. And it goes around like that. And then he took a pencil and pretty much it and that's where you come out with that now don't make the mistake that we did the first time uh, this is the actual size of the depth of the guitar however it does include the top and the back so when we make our sides we will take this and if we're going to make our sides and our back at let's just take a theoretical figure of 110 thousandths then we got about a quarter of an inch that has to come off of that to get the proper height. <laughs> Sam's getting... This is live video. Sam's Sam, a popular man. Sam's just a popular guy, you know. But anyway, uh, so uh, this tells you pretty much, and this is the simplistic way, the most simplistic way to do it. From there then, you have to find what kind of wood you want to use for your guitar. This is just for the body of the guitar. We haven't thought, even talked about the neck. Most of the time necks on acoustic guitars are made of mahogany. And um, I do have a lot of mahogany here and we'll probably select some mahogany for his neck. But he wanted to, the reason I wanted to show this guitar that I just built is because Sam uh, wanted specifically to have rosewood and this is a rosewood back and sides on this particular uh, resonator guitar and this is from uh, my own stock 
And this is the mahogany neck, but it's been stained to match the rosewood and uh, has a little stripe down the end. So we may or may not do the stripe. It's up to him what he wants to do. All of the uh, binding on this is holly with a uh, stripe of uh, rosewood in between. And those I made all here in the shop. And we will do the same as we go along with Sam's unless he wants to use a different kind of binding, which I don't know yet. But I very much recommend the wood binding because I think tonality, it's better than the plastic. And uh, beyond that, I think it is easier to work with. So we will uh, take a break from this now and then we'll go back and look at some wood and I'll show you the wood that Sam has selected for his guitar. <laughs> 